Are you creative? Is your business creative? Do you wish your business was a bit more like the cool companies like Apple and Google and the funky places of the world to work? And if they were, would it make you more creative? What is creativity? Well, Dr. Charlene Liu is a senior lecturer at Gibbs in strategic decision making. Dr. Liu. Yes, Bruce. Give me an insight, please. Yeah. Define creativity because it's quite a broad and quite an amorphous concept. Um, the way I like to look at creativity, Bruce, it's not the frivolous, fun, crazy ideas that people come up with. I see creativity as a serious uh, task of executives. And it's basically the skill that enables you to come up with new ideas, with multiple ideas, and even with unusual strategies that makes business sense. So what makes Google and Apple, for example, some of the funkiest, most creative companies in the world? Is it because they deal in funky creative stuff, the technology? Or is it the environment they created that allowed them to produce the funky creative stuff? It's a bit of both. I think the fact that they were technologically innovative has given us this concept that they're creative. And they matched that with creating wonderful physical spaces in which creativity can be engendered and, and can be harvested from everybody um, in the organization. I know an events manager, for example, who's got a double volume office. Downstairs is open plan office. He's got a treehouse in the corner and a slide to come down. Does that sort of stuff help or is that become go toward the frivolous? It goes towards the frivolous, but we should also have fun and play. But I think we, uh, we can give a good example of where companies can design spaces that helps communicate the message is something Standard Bank is doing at the moment. They're working with design partnership to create spaces where they gonna say is going to be uh, intriguing. Uh, innovative, uh, interesting, we'll, we'll see what they're doing. I, I'm looking forward to seeing that because everybody's going on this innovative, intriguing space. FNB in South Africa, for example, has led us with the perception that, that their bank is different to everybody else's. They still have to do credit checks, they still have to um, do their checks and balances every day, count the money, make sure that you're not overdrawn and send you a bill every single month. They do the boring stuff, but they've created an environment where we are led to believe that they are more fun and funky than the other guys. Don't we love them for it? FMB uh, is creating a perception and they're being recognized for it as well. Uh, the Accenture Innovation Index is, has indicated them as one of our most innovative companies. There was a again. global recognition the, uh, last year as well, saying this is the world's most innovative bank. That takes creativity to be innovative. I think it's, a, it's marrying that, absolutely taking a, a situation that could be very boring and coming up with counterintuitive solutions that is exciting for us as consumers. But offices, more now, you've got an, an innovation hub here at Gibbs. People sit on bouncy balls and have crayons and chalk to draw on the wall. Not everybody's cup of tea. But is that the sort of thing that more and more companies are doing to try and get people to think differently. People go, my job is nine to five, I sit here and I type into a computer. Actually, your job is to make this place better. They do that, but I don't think people do it well. I think uh, creativity is really not about airy-fairy sessions with consultants and colorful rooms and way out ideas. It's serious work and it's coming up with solutions that are, are technically uh, feasible and have business viability as well. Uh, the creative spaces may be fun and be playful, but there's another side of creativity, a more serious side. And that's the one executives must draw on. Because executives sit there and say, we're a creative business. Now, where's the balance sheet? Um, they've got to lead by example. And it's around how they manage to reinvent their companies. It's how they manage to create new markets for the organization. It's, it's far uh, from the creative spaces that we play in. And that's the way they need to lead us in creativity. Can you be a creative individual in a dull, boring, untransformed, dull place? Is it possible? Not as much as you would be able in a space that allows you and incentivizes you to come up with new ideas. Incentivizes. Now that's important. What FNB has done is makes a million rand available every year. Best idea, share it amongst the team, the individual, whatever. The best idea that generated the biggest return for the business and has changed the way in which they do business. Is it important to pay for those? It helps, absolutely. You can create various ways to motivate people. I know the Imperial Group as well has just put together an, an innovation fund to help incentivize the sourcing of creative ideas. It feels a little bit desperate sometimes, doesn't it? It does, it does. Uh, so it has to be linked to business strategy. It has to be linked to, to, to an end result that you want to attain. Because the risk of saying we're a creative business is you degenerate into chaos because people then start behaving like kids in a candy store. It's got to be channeled, it's got to be managed, and it's got to be focused within the broad strategic framework.
I know the innovation and design consulting firm IDEO in the States, they set out three principles when they offer a product to, to companies. It has to have business viability, so you, it has to have human desirability, so you must want the product and you must be able to execute on, on, on that plan and that makes it creative. Charlene Liu is a senior lecturer in strategic decision making here at Gibbs.